No, him, you look like a. Hey! you wear only yellow. Wow. This is wrong and it's right. Yeah. Crazy place. You're driving me mad. Good morning, everyone. Nice sunshine to wake up to. I'm gonna Davon and in 15 minutes, we need to leave to the airport to get to Cairo. Day number two of this wild adventure. We are heading to Cairo, got a flight in a few hours. The currency they use here is also pounds and it's one to 30. What's your name? Mahmoud. Mahmoud, nice, nice. Hey. Bye. Here at the airport, complete ghost town. Not a single person in sight. <laughs> Hope the flight's leaving today. 15 years ago, my grandfather went to Cairo and when he came back, I saw all his photos and this gave me the appetite and the wanting to go there. And today, 15 years later, I'm finally heading to Cairo. I've been arguing for the past half an hour with immigration officers. Last night, I bought a visa to go to Cairo and I showed it by the check-in desk. I said, yeah, this is my visa. He goes, no, no, you had a little paper. I said, yeah, they told me that they exchanged a the paper for a stamp. He goes, no, no, you need that paper. I said, so why? I asked him to have it back and he didn't give it me last night. Anyway, cut a long story short, I was arguing back with some forwards of immigration. I said, give me another visa because he took away from me. I've already paid for it. I showed them in my bank that I paid for it. In the end, arguing back with some forwards, he goes, yeah, wait for this guy. I said, if I wait for the, your guy to come, I'm going to miss my flight. Anyway, I had to buy another visa. But yeah, extremely corrupt country, you know, people smoking, officials smoking in the airport. So if you do come to Egypt, just be prepared that you're very likely to be scammed. And it's just part of the experience. It's part of the trip. It'll cost you a bit, but... Part of the fun. Hi, what's your what's your name? Randolph or Yellow Randolph? Yellow Randolph. Now can you tell me why do you wear only yellow? Everything's yellow from the beard, the clothing, the, the even his, even his case down there is yellow. Well, my whole life has been turned yellow seven years ago. Uh, for the last five years, I've been wearing yellow every single day, and the main reason for that is sunshine, love, and happiness. You wow, know? love that. I receive more of it. I spread Positivity more of it. makes everyone Absolutely. smile around you. Yes. Great, Randolph, great guy. Yeah. Very excited to fly Air Cairo, this tiny turbo plane. Is that the smallest plane you've ever been in? Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty much a flying bus if you ask me. Ah, la, 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 la. Cairo, you have your backpack like this in front of you so you can see it at all times. It's much harder for pickpocketers to nick stuff. Leaving Cairo airport, getting stopped every 20 seconds. You want taxi on taxi, good price. Don't listen to them, ignore them and get Uber. Pennies, so much cheaper. We have an hour taxi ride now. We're heading towards the Giza necropolis, the biggest and the most famous pyramids in the world. We're having lunch in the back of the taxi, so we save time and for the few hours we have here, we can tour as much as possible. People desperate to make money, selling things on the side of the road. Here we are, Pyramids of Giza built over 4,000 years ago. What an incredible structure. Just amazing what they were able to build 4,000 years ago. I, I look like an Egyptian? No, him, you look like oh, a he does, he does, all right. Tally-ho, tally-ho. Tally-ho, tally-ho. Here we are, climbing the pyramids. I'm not gonna get to the top because then I'll end up in jail, like a few people have in history. So apparently, to build this pyramid, which is over 140 meters tall, it took over two million blocks. So after much negotiations, from 700 Egyptian pounds to 200 Egyptian pounds. Not bad, let's see, let's see. Wow. You see the nine pyramids? You can't tell me, all right? 
If I tell my people to come to Egypt, everyone, everyone will come. Zevi, first time on a camel. How's it feeling? Almost as comfortable as my car, but yeah, almost as comfortable. But the English name, uh, first one, Kiops. The second one, Kafrin. The third one, Makarin. Madden. Yeah. Seis Yisrael me Mitzrayim, Beis Yaakov meyam. So there's three main pyramids. This one they call the grandfather, the biggest. The second to biggest is the father, and the small one down there is the child. The best way to stop people harassing you and driving you mad to have a camel ride or a donkey ride, just tell them I've been on one, I've been on one already. And normally they leave you alone quite quickly. Over here they don't stop and offer you their services. They literally took my phone to take photos of me. Full credits, they took incredible photos. Then I gave them 120 Egyptian pounds, which is around five dollars. For them that's nice money. It's like, ah, oh, for me this is nothing, da, da, da. We have the Sphinx behind us and apparently their job was to sort of watch over the pyramids and the way they're built is very different. The pyramids is built brick by brick to construct the whole thing. But the Sphinx, they had a massive rock and they carved out and chiseled out until they got the figure of the Sphinx. What the Sphinx is supposed to look like is half human, half lion because they believe that the two powers together is very, very strong. Muhammad, who's the best footballer in the world? Muhammad Salah. Muhammad Salah. Muhammad Salah. Am I Muslim? Um, I'm Ibrahim. Yeah, brother. And I'm, 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 I'm your Muslim. No problem. Muslim and not Muslim. Yes, no problem. Yes. Other people here in Egypt Muslim. You know? Yeah. Music, uh, not music, because the me Muslim. Muslim, but can you sing? No, no music. You were singing before. Only Quran, Quran. Ah. Just had a great time in the pyramids. A real hustle. People driving us mad for absolutely everything. So hoping to calm down now in uh, Cairo city, sit down somewhere, relax a bit. Just arrived in Old Cairo Bazaar and we only have five minutes. They didn't want to let us in, but uh, told them it's the only day in Cairo and he's very kindly. Thank you very much, you've let us in, thank you. So apparently there's a church and a shawl over here. Let's see if we can find it. The only t-shirt we're going to sell here, Muhammad Salah. And we found it, it's called the Ben Ezra Synagogue. I don't know much about it, let's see when we get there. I'm not sure what this is all about, but we've got books on both sides of this passageway on the way to the shore. So the synagogue, Ben Ezra Synagogue, is closed. I guess they made an early Minchamariv and now it's closed for the night. So here we have a church and right next to it is a Ben Ezra Synagogue. Oh, what, I can't take a tuk-tuk there? No, no. Hello. Bit of an Asian vibe going on over here. We're taking a tuk-tuk around. Good, up, good. I want them to the The police just took away his license and said that he has to come back over there. And if he takes us around and brings us back over there, he gets his license back. I like that. I'm not going to get scammed this time. What's your name? My name is Ahmad. Ahmad, very nice. What's your name? just drive differently here. So he drove us back to the police, gave his license back, and then obviously the police was asking me for a tip. Gosh, these people don't stop. Never in my life have I seen such a crazy place. Absolute madness. It's a fast market is called Khan El Khalili. I think that's how you pronounce it. You can hear my voice still. Subscribe. We just took a 30 minute taxi and only cost two pounds, around two and a half dollars. Crazy, crazy cheap. Something you have to be so careful about. If you're not Macbeth and Khalavakum in other countries, so you're getting cow milk in a lot of Muslim countries, you're actually getting camel milk and that is completely trafe and there's no way around that. 
Here we are at the Cairo Tower, the tallest building in Egypt, standing at 187 meters. Behind me is the River Nile, which is of course famous in the Torah. Moshe Rabbeinu was in the basket over here. The Maccas came out from here. This is it, the River Nile. Tell them something. Welcome to Rashi. Thank you, thank you. What a way to end a chaotic day. Shisha on the River Nile. Thank you. A huge thank you to Hashem for making today work out so well. We're heading back to the airport, we're flying back to Sharm El Sheikh. Just arrived back in the airport. Got a flight in two hours to Sharm. Not exactly a propeller plane, quite a large plane taking us back to Sharm. Not just as a very comfortable plane. I've got extra leg room here and two spare seats next to me. What else can I dream for? We left our hotel 17 hours ago, and here we are again, back in our hotel. However long I live, today's experience in Cairo, I'll never forget.